back, everyone, to another ep welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Austria. Where, guys, as you know, in the last episode, we have Austria, we have African support now. Like Africa is officially starting to realize that they are Austrian Hungarian, and that they realize that they should fight for the country, even though we don't give them. Even though we are very terrible to them, and we only really want them because they give us taxes and uh, minerals. They still realize that they like our country more than anything else, and I'm happy to add them to our ranks as militaristic people. Hoorah! Okay, so we're about to increase- so yeah, that's what happened last episode. I'll also explain my master plan for how I'm going to get my revenge on- Eh, we could deal with that for a couple of years. How I'm going to get my revenge on the uh, mighty Germans! The Germans! And we are going from here. I mean, this is long live it! Yay! Got more cores, everyone. We got more cores. We got more cores, everyone. We got more cores. All right. So now, let's wait. When's the next time we have to increase relationships with our good friends, United States of A? Let's see. May twentieth. Okay. So in four days, we get to increase our relationships again with them. Nineteen twenty. Okay. Let's see. It'll probably take us a couple times. I mean, this is a pretty two more times it should take so we can figure out. How much more increasing beyond this do we have to do before we, uh, uh, Preacher Man, get rid of the worthless troublemakers. That sounds totally like what we would do. So, get rid of them. Alright, and let's see, we have a couple gun factories failing right now. Uh, sorry guys, I can't exactly have the gun factories fail right now. Usually I would say that, uh, yeah, definitely not the gunpowder factories right now can fail. You, as a fertilizer factory, you can't necessarily fail because I'm not necessarily needing you guys for the overall benefit of my country. You guys have to kind of stay there. Sorry. Uh, you can be destroyed. You can be destroyed. You can be... Ah, uh, you guys can stay open. <laughs> I'll be benevolent that time. They can stay open. But yeah, as you guys can see, in all honesty, I believe that if... Our country did pretty good, like, in terms of industrialization. I mean, we have a fully built Germany right now in the game, and we have a full America built right now. We did okay in terms of industrializing. I wish... The only thing I did wish is that this game would allow would allow me to, like, take over and actually be able to monetize my entire factories. Because that's really annoying right now. Because I can't actually build the stuff I want. And usually... And this is the one problem... This is... Yeah, and this is the, okay, let's get major endowments, because arts endowments is pretty important, I guess. Makes the artisan guilds be happy, but yeah. And it's all because, mainly it's because, oh, you're finally going to be my ally again, Ukraine. Thank goodness. It's mainly because, like, we have that stupid, stupid, oh, yes, we got 101. Okay, next time I can know what do I need to do and how much more do I have to increase relationships with you guys before you guys love me again. That's going to be good to note. But it's all because we have this stupid upper house appointment where if you don't have upper house appointed, you basically are lost. And you basically have to deal with the game's very, very faulty mechanics in terms of, uh, in terms of... Yeah. Oh, thank you, America! Best buddies for life! <laughs> so, now that America has officially you know, become my friend and has, you know, earned my respect. Well, not really earned my respect, they already have my respect. But now since we're kind of buddies, now what we just have to do is just wait for this stupid modifier to end. No more war, there it is. Ah, man, it's so hard to get. There we go. Until, basically until 1924. I mean, it did say 1923, but it was like December 4th. So that's basically at the end of the year. So we can't fabricate anything until then. But what we can start doing, ooh, this looks like, seems like the Beijing is starting to expand. That is no good. Um, is there any, hey, can I make any friends with you guys? Would you like to be my buddy? No? Well, screw you then. I can't wait till you guys get conquered by the Beijing Chinese. Okay? Gosh, man, some countries can be just so rude. Okay, but anyways, uh, we have basically, have you guys finished up with your building of what I want you guys to build because you guys are basically my main producers of this of what we need you guys to produce okay they're done hmm did they delete my uh, tank factories let's see that's going to take 166 more days so in 166 more days we'll start making massive amounts of tanks and start the new process of making our new and modernized army 
which will definitely be a help of the Germans because I think we'll, I think I have an idea of what we'll do, guys. It's a little known, it's a little strategy I came up with where we attack the enemy by surprise with an entire big gigantic force of tanks before they're ready or able to defend themselves. I think I should name it after what we essentially, as you Australians call, uh, um, a lightning war per se. You know, what does that translate to in Australian? Gosh dang. I don't know why I don't know why we Australians think in Ameri American language, but uh what does lightning war translate to in German? I wonder. Hmm. Oh yeah, I think it's called a Blitzkrieg! <laughs> oh man, that was fun. So yeah. If we can do this right, we could basically invent the Blitzkrieg without much hassle. And since we basically know where all the Australian... Oh my goodness, we could destroy that forces right there so easily. Since we basically have the maximum amount of troops that we're ever going to have in our entire... Colonial education policy. We should never in that conversation. I believe the resources could be better spent. What? No. Please get my... Please get the African colonies to be illiterate. It helps bring our school up in the overall... In the overall scope of things. So yeah, I don't know what you guys were thinking, but yeah, we do need to get them educated. Okay, so anyways, let's see, can we make any more soldiers in Europe? Yes, we can! Alright, let's keep building some more just regular men. We can also build some soldiers in North America. Never thought that'd be possible. And let's see, how's the little new army being built? Uh, fairly well balanced, we just need to get its... its we just need to get its, its tanks, and it'll be fine. We also have our little new uh, meeting place. What? Ukraine, what is with your deal? Ukraine, stop that. Stop being such a jerk. Stop this adding me and adding me to your sphere, to your, like, allies list. Seriously, we're your overlords. You don't do that to us. You can't play hot and cold like the Americans do. And did France just become different, like... I think they have celebration of freedom. Let's just get three liberal consciousness. I'll lose it. Uh, what are they right now? Oh, they're fascist. Oh shoot, France is fascist. That's not good. That's definitely not good. Oh no, oh no. So with France being fascist, that means that we have our first major fascist country in the world. Uh, mostly brought about by me, um, <laughs> not gonna deny, I was the, probably the one who probably got that done. But we also have rebels starting to spawn everywhere, what are these? R Russian communists! So not only are we going to have a gigantic fascist, a fascist France, but we could potentially have a fascist Russia. Oh gosh. Please, Russia, clean up your rebels. For the life of me, please. Clean up your rebels, and make sure the rebels don't get this- Wait, is St. Petersburg your guys' capital? No, it isn't. Oh no, you guys moved to Moscow. Oh no. Uh, demand the strictest discipline. Yeah, they have to be working the hardest for me to make sure I, I trust them. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. If we have a communist Russia, they could actually really industrialize, and actually, conservative party scandal. Shoot. But if they actually, that's not what I care about right now. I don't care about a little political, politicky stuff we're doing right now in our country. Because it really doesn't matter in the, long, in, the, in the long run, it really doesn't matter. And I'm not going to, like, pretend it doesn't. But the long, in the long, okay. Keep building, keep that up and running. But in the long, long scope of things, this could become really, really bad. By the way, like, seriously, this could become really, really bad. Having a communist Russia in our mix... Besides just the fact that they will be insanely big, but they also could potentially actually industrialize, which would then kind of screw us over for later. But it, it honestly depends how fast. It, if, it honestly depends if they can actually win this. And I have a grand army again! Huzzah! Um, it honestly depends... Okay, okay. Okay, never mind, never mind. Maybe, maybe the Russians will be able to fight back anything that happens. Because they seem like they're fighting back pretty well right now. And, haha, <laughs> you're getting conquered right now, I so told you. I'm not gonna weep from you guys dying. I'm not. But yeah, it seems like they conquered back all the territory. It seems like the Tsarist Russians are keeping control of what they need. That is good. That is good to note. So maybe we won't have to deal with... Uh... Who's this? Perm? 
Hmm. Uh, Targin is dead. Hmm. Nah, I don't want to get involved in this. I feel like no, no, no. As soon as I, I bet you anything. As soon as I get involved in this, in either side, another country is going to join in. If I don't get involved in this thing, then no other country will join in, and we'll have a happy, go likely, you know, time. And let's see, who could actually join in at this point in time anyways? Hmm. You know what? Just to be nice, I'm going to support Russia. So if anyone else wants to, wants to go against me, let's hope it's not Germany. Ah, oh, it's the UK. Well, Germany should be able to, to support me because they love me. And because we are like bros right now. Uh, with Netherlands, not so much. They should be able to hate me. Oh. Uh, hmm. Uh, you know, this actually could work out to more of my benefit if it if I can get this correctly. Because what will happen is is that if we can like move Germany to my side and then get Netherlands and Italy on that side, we could potentially get what I want without really by using the Germans as another uh, help, I should say. Plus, we could also get a great war, which means we could also like break up the United Kingdom a little bit. Begin assimilating. Everyone must have assimilation. We will all think the same, and we will all act the same, and we will all be the Borg. Okay, so let's see. Um, yay, Germany already backed me. Now, Netherlands, don't choose me. Netherlands. Okay, Netherlands. A release puppet of... I know you guys don't... They will accept. Oh my goodness, they would accept. Okay, uh, since... Since Netherlands would accept that... Okay, we gotta think of this really logically. How can we make these guys hate me? Okay, it'd probably be, I'd have to, re I'd have to get, ooh, yes. Release them as a puppet. When we add this war goal, we lose 20 prestige and 2.5 infamy. Yeah, I don't care. If I gave these, see, if I had a war, a war reason for why to go to war, I'm pretty sure what's gonna happen, yes, okay, now they're gonna be on my side. Now, Netherlands should hate me. Right? No? They're not gonna hate me. Oh my goodness. And now this is going to be a terrible war. Yeah, you guys are gonna surrender. South Africa's for this. <laughs> well, I didn't intend for that to happen, but okay. Everyone, we just freed South Africa. So now South Africa is its own independent nation underneath the Italians. <laughs> That was not entirely intentional, but for the sake of purposes, I guess it works. So, Italy, you guys just got a freebie, I guess. Wow. Just, wow. I, wow. I, I, I <laughs> okay, that's really funny. Okay, so anyways. Well done, flags flying in Posa. So anyways, we have Italy being now way more powerful because now they have like, actual prestige because we just like de-armed the uh, British again so now we have to look at the stages and Scandinavia is still third which is good and we are approaching our gigantic war day or I shouldn't say war day I should say a uh, day where we are going to be really powerful and going to crush the Ottomans because we basically have three fronts against the Ottomans we have the Persian front the uh, Suez front and we have the gigantic Baltic front which is really scary actually gigantic Baltic front Insanely scary. Uh, it's insanely scary. So yeah, and what I think I'm going to do is I'm also going to add the Germans, at least for right now, into this. But I'm also going to be decreasing my relationships with them. Okay, because we're way too... It's easy to decrease relationships, it's hard to gain back relationships. That's how this game works. So if we decrease a lot of relationships... Okay, yes, we're starting to build some tanks. Oh man, look at all those tanks. Look at all those tanks. <laughs> oh man, they're all moving towards my place. I want them to. This is so cool. Okay, now they're starting to build more tanks over there. That's really a good sign. And let's see. Let's start building more stuff. Let's see. Do we have any more stuff in Europe? Yes, we can build five more Polish regulars. Uh, just keep building more tanks. I know it sounds really weird to build all these type of tanks, but really, that's all we really need. Our army right now is pretty powerful, but if we get lots of tanks... And just start spreading them around our already equally big armies. Oh my goodness, the Germans are going to stand no chance against us. No chance. Not one, nada. Okay. 
And we're about to approach a year where we can finally do something, guys! Oh my goodness, it's so cool! Okay, and then with Germany. Germany has any other allies? Occitania. Well, that's not really... Not really a big alliance. Decrease relationships again. 140. Um, basically why I'm doing this is because I need to make sure when I dissolve the alliance, I can instantly start getting what I need. Wow! Wow! Wow, um... Hmm. Uh... Y y the... Wow. The game just made this insanely simple for me. Wow, I, I didn't even... It's not even time yet, but wow. <laughs> so, who are you allied with right now? You're allied with the Russian Empire. Ah, uh, I still can't use it though. Because I, I don't necessarily just don't want to just humiliate them. I also do want pro-military. I also do want to, like, declare war and take this little province right here. And I'm going to gain a lot of infamy if I do it right now. Which is why I don't want. Excellent! Pit mining is great! Everyone should know that pit mining is the most awesome thing in the world. Everyone must try it at some point in their lives. And that is a quote that you can quote me on from here. James something or other. Uh, 2014. We must all go pit mining. And finally, Germany finally took that little province right there, which means I believe that the French have finally returned home, and Switzerland is the most neutral, unneutral country I have ever met in my lifetime. I mean, seriously, people, they are more like hot. They are more like, yeah, we're neutral, but we support the French. Oh, we're neutral, but we support the Italians. Oh, we're neutral, but we support anyone else that Austria hates. Gosh dang, it's, it's been like that this entire game, I swear. Alright, so let's see. Uh... How did the Federalists influence all my people to think... I don't believe this. How is pro... How is pro-military not the overall... Who in the hell voted for pacifism? Hell no, people. Hell no. You ain't getting me to be a pacifist person in this game. I'm sorry, but that ain't gonna happen, okay? Not on my watch, nuh uh, no way, no how, uh uh. Okay. But on a serious note, let's take another. Wait, is this a place under the sun? Okay. We have to figure out is this a colony or is this a. Oh, this is an actual state. Okay, this is what I thought. So we're gonna have to take a acquire state, Casas Belli. And even if we were to get the full amount of Casas Belli and we were getting caught in the, on the exact first day, we should be able to take the infamy hit. Of course, when I go to war with Germany, I don't care about my infamy hit. Let the big, let the big G flow far high and wide. Of course, everyone wants full citizenship. I still don't give it. Let the bigotry run far and wide. Enforce the Austrian Calcutta. Everyone must adapt to me. I don't care if you're under a rock or you're uh, in or in the cities. You must be Austrian. The ultra liberals. They better not claim victory. If they claim victory, I'm moving to a different country. Okay? I'm telling you this now. So you better make sure they don't claim victory. And let's see, how's this army coming about? Okay, basically it's almost about where I want it to be. Maybe about three more three more cavalry. One, two, three. There we go. Three more cavalry. And then that army should be about where I want it to be. Which is going to be awesome! Yes, we shall attend the Olympics! Okay, so there's dividends. 9.5, that's a pretty good amount of infamy. Uh, what we could also do is also release some countries that are one minor provinces big, like Calabria. Actually, I think Calabria is actually on my mainland, so I don't... Uh, yeah, let's release that. Uh, let's see, what else do we have to release? Uh, Donfrey... Let's release that, and there we go. We basically got back to where we need to be. I should could release one other province. Quick off, <laughs> no. That's a part of my mainland. I'm not going to release that. Okay, uh, but another country. I Actually, uh, huh. I don't think we can release any other country without accidentally giving away something we don't want to. We didn't give away anything I didn't want to, right? No, we didn't. Good. I don't even know what we did give away, but I don't really care. Jindoism! Yay! I always support Jindoism, because Jindoism is the coolest thing ever. 
Oh, it's this little country right here. <laughs> sure, they can have it. They can have that country right there. I don't care. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I'm going to be moving towards a more naval doctrine. And I will see you guys next time.